So good morning everybody and um, thank you so much for watching this. I'm having a go at this video because a thought that I had for many years was I was working in construction. And that has something to do with the fact that I have came, um, I have digged this book out from, and uh, I'm planning to do a review on that. Um, I believe I have something to say about it that people might find interesting. But anyway, um, within digging out that book again and remembering working in, in, um, in construction, I remember my frustration when, um, when I have to work with mediocre leaders or with mediocre leaders. What do I mean by that? It's just maybe they know what they're doing. Maybe they have a lot of experience, but they lack of some substance, you know? They probably don't like the job very much and um, they fear competition from the young guns. Um, and if you're in there, you might find this helpful. Um, so here it is. Um, try to pass all that and become a leader yourself. And there is a good way to do that. Uh, how can you become a leader on site? Well, you can... Um, you can become acquainted with everybody on site, from the laborers to the painters, from the management to secretarial. And that's not in any order in particular, but saying, you know, try, try to make yourself present in all aspects of the job. That is not to be popular. That is not to be uh, a face. That is not to be a talker or uh, none of that. Just all you need to do, greet people every time you see them, treat them with respect, trust their word, re um, also value, value their word, value their presence there, acknowledge that these people are there. Because you know what? There is a lot of people there and, and some of us sometimes want to be there. But at the end of the day, we're all people. And we all bring our own personal value to the to the site and because of that we would like to be uh, respected and treated as individually as possible it's true we're all just working in a construction it's just job you know um, get it done go home but at the same time it's nice when we can share some personal value in it and a good way to do that is to become acquainted with as many people as you can for example if you see uh, a painter wandering around looking on scrap wood for picking up something that but without taking any assumption of what he or she is doing whenever they're wandering around any of your material with either a scrap or not go to them say hi I, um, what's going on can I, anything you, is there anything I can help you with you know it's as simple as that stop what you're doing it is and, and have a look see if you can help see if you can deliver more value save them some time because I tell you what um, as the, as in the same way that for a painter is five minutes to do something and for you will be at least half hour because you wouldn't have the tools ready and whatnot it's the same the other way around you know some laborer might need a, a, a screw on the on the broomstick I tell you what, mate, it can be a nightmare for, an, for a laborer to have a, a broomstick broken, you know, because they're working with limited tools and, and well, every trade works with limited tools, you know. We don't, we don't have a, a complete range of tools for, for, for the entire job at, at any given point. So it is, it is nice that uh, it's not only nice, but it's productive, it's, it's brotherhood, it's, it's value to everybody you work with. And it makes you, it gives you a very uh, good presence on site. It grants you a lot of respect. And uh, that is very important, not only for humanity, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to who, who stays on site longer and who gets recommended, uh, recommended for the following job, that will always hold up to, uh, to it. So... Consider that. Greet people every day. Be aware of what's happening in your environment and see how can you help? How, how does your trade, your skills, your tools 
your tools at that moment can get someone else's feet out of the mud much quicker than they could do it by themselves. Because overall, you know, I, I mean, at the worst case scenario, you get told off for, for, for stopping your job. Put this into perspective. What you can do is expose the fact that that man's half hour time is as valuable as your half hour time. And if you can reduce that half hour that would have cost him to put a screw on his broom, for example, in the case of the example said that I'm winding myself up, but the point, yeah, you, you're following what I'm saying, yeah? That, that, that would have saved that man half hour that would have cost you only five minutes. It is totally worth it to do it, you know? Even if you're working on price work, okay? Don't see it as a waste of your own time. Don't see it, oh, I'm working on price, I'm not looking at anybody else. Don't do that, please, don't do that. Because eventually what will happen is that you will become, because we started at one point and we follow at the other, but it's all related. You're gonna end up becoming one of these people that, that really have very little to offer in order of, of leadership, unless you experience this aspect of community work, of value as, of, of people as individual, okay? This is what happens to these guys that are now in, in, in senior management and whatnot, that they, 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 they come from a different time and they're very blind to the potential uh, uh, that there is for, for leading by, by brotherhood, so to speak, you know, by earning respect rather than in, in stealing fear or that sort of thing, okay? And if you go down this road, I'm, I'm explaining to you, you will guarantee to have a head start and become a leader yourself without, without way before you get the job, which is also a key to getting the job. Getting the job in, in management requires a person that can already do that job, that is in fact already have been doing that job before they get it, okay? So I hope that summarizes it. It's very general, very, you know, abstract. But um, have a go at it uh, and good luck.